Good morning. How are you guys? It's currently 1 p.m. 24th of November. So we're now back at home and we're done working out. And uh, how did it go? It was okay. <laughs> yeah, we're both really tired. <sighs> But we're going to show you guys something. Right now we're just going to review the protein powder we've been uh, drinking for the past like month and a half, uh, which is My Protein. We discovered the brand through Unidays actually, which is a student app here in UK, where you get like discounts and so on. And prior to that, we used different brands of protein, but we never really like loved any of the products. I, for instance, use a brand called Plant Force, which is a vegan brand, and Sim used Body Fuel and Body Lab, which is Scandinavian, I think, and also from our workplace, tights.no. We're not by any means any type of nutritionist or di dietitian. Um, we're just regular people that are trying to consume enough protein while we work out. They do not replace any meals. So this is simply just a supplement that we take so that we get enough protein into our bodies. So Sim and I have different preferences to uh, what type of proteins we like. I usually uh, lean towards clear protein or clear whey, while Sim usually leans into like milky based protein powders. This is my uh favorite protein that I tried out first. I think a couple weeks ago, I tried out the 250 grams. So I bought some different proteins. That was like a small bag of 250 grams. And it was cookies and cream, ruby, ruby chocolate, and the clear way isolate watermelon that Eli's gonna talk about. When I tried out the watermelon, it was not for me because it was too sweet in my opinion, but it is good. And uh, if you like like uh, a <laughs> sweet drink, <laughs> go for it and try it. And so it, it is good. It's just not for me. Uh, I like my my protein more like creamy or like a milkshake kind of thing. So I tried out the ruby chocolate. I didn't like that one. I got nauseous after drinking a bottle of it. And uh, yeah, I don't know. It was just a weird taste. I think even though it was good. <laughs> so I ended up with the cookies and cream one because I like that one and I do like cookies and cream in general and uh, the taste is very good I think it's actually perfect because it's not too sweet and you taste the cookies and cream and uh, yeah it's when you mix it with the milk it's very good and it's not too much so in each scoop uh, you get 20 grams of protein and I bought one of 2.5 kilos so it's a basically around 100 servings and I drink three scoops each day to maintain my uh, my protein and uh, basically so each day I take in 60 grams of protein and and that equals to 300 around 300 calories of uh, yeah of drinking one bottle so I'm mixing I only drinking one bottle and it's three scoops inside it and uh, also another thing that I really like was the clear way isolate mango and coconut. I didn't order this one, Ila did, but she didn't like it because she doesn't like coconut. I, I think it's good. It's uh, it's refreshing. It's not like it's not milkshake, and uh, it has it's not too sweet either. It's very good, and uh, yeah, I think you get it's 20 servings and uh, 20 grams of protein. Yeah, 20 grams of protein per. Scoop. So this is great. I love this one. So I tend to switch it up a bit to not too tired of either one. So yeah, that's my proteins, and it's very cheap for a student. As Eli said, if you have uni days, you get it for like fifty percent off discount. It depends. Yeah, it depends. Yeah, but what it's, type of sale they're going. But you get a discount. And that's very good, especially as a student. And I also bought a protein bar, like because. Uh, when I play games, I like to snack, and I don't, I don't want to eat too much of too much chocolate, even though I love chocolate. So I tried this uh, protein bar. It's kind of small, but it works. It's 4.6 grams of protein in one bar, 
and it's 100 calories as well but it's good it's not uh, too sweet either is yeah it's good what flavor is it it's double chocolate <laughs> so, it's only... so it's really kind of cluttered it's not too thick but it's not thin either so it works perfect in my opinion and uh, I haven't had any trouble like uh, sticking to the wall of the bottle it loosen up very quick in my opinion that's uh, what I have experienced though I don't know if it's the bottle or if it's the protein though but the consistency is very good and I like it and yeah this is the Oreo one the cream I mean <laughs> I said it doesn't stick to the wall, but it somehow sometimes it you get some clumps, They're like small clumps. I don't know if it's the, I think it's the protein that doesn't dissolve that good, but it's not sticking to the wall. And yeah, the taste is very similar to Oreo in my opinion. I think when you order cookies and cream milkshake from McDonald's or anything like that it's just not too sweet it's very smooth when you don't get those uh, clumps of course you won't get like cookie bites but the taste is there and it's very nice it's very nice <laughs> it's very nice <laughs> so prior to using my protein i was using this brand called um plant force which is a vegan brand and i needed it to be vegan or some type of plant-based or i don't know because i'm lactose intolerant and i also have soy allergy so it's really hard to find um, protein powders that are uh, lactose free and, and soy free because those are some of the main ingredients to making protein powders but I did some research and found out that isolate is actually lactose free milk powder because they you can basically search up just hydro isolate I think it's called but they essentially boil down the milk until there's no more lactose in it. So my favorite is Clear Way Isolate, which is watermelon flavored. This one is 502 grams and you get 20 servings, uh, which is really great. And per serving, you get 20 grams of protein. So it's really good ratio. And the scoop, I think it's like 25 yeah 25 grams so 25 grams per scoop you get 20 grams of protein that's actually really great so i love this one because it goes clear it's clear way so it doesn't go like sims one which is milk based and i really love it because it almost just it's just like a juice basically which is not hard to drink and I think Sim says it's very sweet because he took several scoops, right? Yeah. Yeah. Three scoops. So I only take one scoop with mine and I much rather like consume two scoops or up to three scoops but in different bottles. So not all of the three scoops in one bottle as Sim does. I just make three separate bottles. And what I like about this is that it doesn't go grainy as my as my previous protein powder, which was the Plant Force. Um, it also tasted vanilla, so it was milk based, and I really didn't like that one because it was so hard to get down or like drink, and I would almost have to force myself and ended up just getting nauseous afterwards. I would really recommend this this one if you have if you are lactose intolerant or have soy allergy. So yeah, you mix this with water and it turns into this really great juice. So what I really like about my protein is that they're very affordable, which is really great for us students who live on a budget. And you always get some type of discount when you have Unidays, the app, or Student Beans. And they have everything from like, our first purchase was 50% off I think or 45% and right now I think they're doing 35 or even right now I think they have black week so a lot of percentages off uh, Which is really great. They do have this brand in Norway as well But the down part is that you have to pay mums and toll which is customs and taxes and that can add up to around I think it's around like five six hundred crowns It all depends on what you and they also sell clothing and apparel um, at their store or at their website. If you order from Norway, you gotta have to pay some extra fees, but they don't have that in London. 
or in UK. So I'm really grateful for that. So yeah, I love the watermelon one. I didn't really like the mango coconut as Sim said because I'm not the biggest fan of coconut. So I first got this one which was the 500 gram one. But I also got the big one which is like 35 servings which I'm actually going to bring to Oslo which I'm actually going to bring to Oslo and I hope that this will last because this is like 35 servings I also got this one which is an impact way which is also isolate so it's lactose free it does contain some soy but it's just soy less thin which is in most of the food I already consume consult whoever you need to consult like your doctor or something if you want to consume this type of way if you have soy allergy but for me personally it works great and i like um switching it up between the clear way and the milky like milkshake type of way and this way is the chocolate brownie one this is one kilo you get 40 servings each serving size is 25 grams and you get around yeah you get around 19 grams of protein per serving which is also really great because yeah it's only like a six gram gauge so that's awesome and the calories is low yeah and you also only get 88 calories per serving which with this one you get yeah also 88 so i think it's the hydro isolate type of thing that gets you that low calorie i would really recommend this brand if you're able to get a hold of it or try it out so i will show you guys how this looks when you mix it up so with this one it's almost empty i barely have anything left the powder is really fine it's like really fine milled which is great compared to the one i had earlier because that was very grainy so i love mixing this with water um, and I have this handy dandy mixer, so I'm not shaking all day long. It's difficult to shake after a workout. Yeah, or when you try to drink protein as soon as you get home, you're like, yeah, it's not, not a fun time. So I take a scoop of this, and to be honest, the powder smells awful, which I, I had to like get used to it because it tasted like, or it smelled like eggs. But you get used to it and so i close this one and i just pick it and sometimes it sticks to the walls but just give it a minor shake and it does go really frothy and really like bubbly but let it stand for like 15 seconds or 20 seconds and all the bubbles will go away and then after like 20 seconds it'll turn all clear it turns clear like this which is really great it dissolves really greatly and you're not left with any lumps or clumps and i love mixing it with somewhere between like 350 to 400 milliliters of water yeah it's really refreshing um not heavy at all it's like drinking juice like Kool -Aid. in like kool-aid <laughs> yeah like kool-aid it's basically drinking like kool-aid I really recommend this and yeah, I'm excited to try other products from their clear way line There's so many um, different flavors that they have but I lean towards watermelon because of the reviews and other people that were saying that this was the best flavor and they also recommend I think it's called orange lemon or something like that and I just want to say we're not sponsored we use our own money on this but we do have a code that you guys can use on your first purchase if I'm not mistaken and you'll get 10% off right here this is the code you should use and it's like a referral code so you guys should try this if you're starting out with your supplements and so on it's really easy to understand and their website is really great it's easy to navigate and you won't get lost they also have awesome customer service so if you have any questions because i was asking around about like the soy lecithin and so on but they they answered right away and they have this live chat thing that you can use so yeah i think we're not gonna get on with our day do some school work edit the video and make some food right thank you for watching 
I hope you enjoy it and for those who are new to this protein like us I hope you found something new or find something that you like in my protein just try everything <laughs> And see what you like. Oh, and they do also have like sample. We haven't tried this yet, but we did order like the sample packets that they have. Uh, this is Love Hearts, and this one is the drumsticks. Drumsticks. We haven't tried these, and uh, to be honest, the the reviews on them were pretty bad. But we just figured that we would try them sometime. We haven't gotten to it yet, but they do have a lot of samples you can buy, which is one. This is just one serving. So you're not committing to like two kilos of the same flavor that you don't like. Yeah, I hope I've had a great week so far. Thank you for watching. If you haven't already, subscribe to the to our channel and also like the video if you enjoy it. And remember to hit that bell notification button to never miss out when we post, which is every Wednesday and every Sunday. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. And as always, we hope you stay safe and healthy. We'll see you on our next one. Bye. Bye.